Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm the Sterninator and today we are continuing our series on what if Elden Ring bosses were Pokemon, focusing specifically on the expansion Shadow of the Erd Tree. There's a lot of bosses that have been introduced in this expansion and we're looking at one today. So if you haven't played the expansion, don't want to be spoiled, now's your chance to get out because I'm about to spoil it for you. But uh, here we go, ready? Here it is. Uh, today we are focusing on Mesmer the Impaler. Mesmer is a very interesting boss that has a lot going on. I wanted to focus on things like the impalement, things like the snakes, things like the spears, things like the fire, things like the armor. And I wanted to give it a very different design than what we've been going for. You'll see that I actually go through a couple iterations of this concept. I knew what I wanted to bring into the design, and I knew that I wanted to go a little bit more obscure than what we've been going for previously. Previously, I've been looking at the designs and saying, how can I take every shape, every concept, every idea, and mash them together to make a Pokemon? And I kind of started doing that here, taking in those snakes, and I thought, how can I give it a body? How can I give it these spears? How can I bring all that in? I decided instead this time to go with something that captured just the idea of the character, of Mesmer. And I abandoned this idea halfway through. So I knew that some of these aspects I wanted to keep. I wanted to keep the snakes. I really enjoy that aspect of the design. And I know that since I know it's gonna be a fire type at the very least, I want to give it something that, I don't know, had some ferocity to it, had some shape and character to it but I didn't necessarily want it to be what if a guy in armor was Pokemon, you know? I don't know if that makes sense, but I, I wanted to go a different route, wanted to go a little bit more objective, a little bit more, uh, I, I don't know, taking the ideas and boiling them down rather than just a straight across translation. So I, I, I juggled around a lot of ideas with that and I abandoned a lot of ideas with that. And I'd been thinking about this character for a while. I think since I started doing this series, I thought this is an interesting design. This is a man who has all of these things going on. How do I turn a man, a person, into a Pokemon? And I decided to strip that all away. What if it wasn't a man? What if it was just the suit of armor? And I take that armor and rather than being shaped like a human, I bring in some of those like Reggie type of aspects, Reg Ice, Reg Steel, Reg Rock and give it more of a shape. Give it more stuff that's kind of like the um, the object type Pokemon. I know that those are really divisive to people. People are kind of split on whether they like object Pokemon or not. I am a person who does. I think that, that there are some, some designs that do work and don't work with that, but I wanted to go with that type of motif. So I didn't want to make a human in armor, but I could make shapes that mimic the concept of armor. I didn't want to make spears, but I could make things that mimic the idea of spears. And of course, I knew that I wanted to bring in the snakes. I had to have something to tie it together. And I thought the snakes that kind of entangle around Mesmer would be a really cool concept to bring in in a different facet. Whereas for Mesmer, there are these extraneous extremities. I thought, what if I make these kind of the, the main motif of this design? I know that when I see Mesmer, the thing that strikes out to me on a design basis are those snakes that are wrapped around him. So I wanted to bring that in, bring in these pointed edges to mimic the spears, give it the idea that maybe the spears and the armor are kind of the same shapes, the same elements brought together. And rather than, like I said, just turn a person into a Pokemon, bring in those, those concepts. I think I've said that enough uh, trying to defend myself for the design choices that I made. But, you know, I did the dancing line and I just made a dancing line. I did uh, the Skagitry and I just did, what if Skagitry was a Pokemon? And with this one, I want to do something a little different. Maintain those ideas, maintain those concepts, but give it a new vibe. And I, I, I like how it turned out. I think that it turned out to be something that I'm really proud of because it captures those ideas and it brings in a lot of elements that we see in already existing Pokemon. You know, we have a Pokemon that's a sword. Why can't we have a Pokemon that is kind of a suit of armor or parts of a suit of armor and bring in those snake elements to the hands. And I told myself, well, that feels kind of weird, but we see the same thing in Dinos, Wireless, and Hydreigon. So it should 
work and I feel like it does and I can see this being a friend I can see a character kind of hugging this guy and it's big what will be golden eye kind of like smirking in joy as its trainer is uh, is holding it and even the the heads themselves having some personality to them kind of again similar to the twin-headed Pokemon Zwilus and I I enjoyed it I think that it works I I don't know I feel like I'm really defensive about it I feel like it's one of those things where it's like I like it I think that it captures the ideas but I know someone's gonna say yeah but it doesn't look like Mesmer they're gonna say it doesn't look like Mesmer and I think that's kind of the point in these exercises is it doesn't have to look like what you're drawing your inspiration from I mean if I looked at Nitto King and said what was the inspiration behind this you may be the person who tells me oh well it's designed after rabbits and dinosaurs and it's a fusion of those things but if you didn't know that on the flat out Nitto King is just a really cool looking Pokemon that yeah has those inspirations but is its own thing same thing with that Kangaskhan. Oh, well, it's kangaroo based. And it's like, is it? It looks a lot more like a, like a dinosaur. And it's based on the concept of motherly values. So I, I kind of took those same excuses, examples, and translated them over. So, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I'm so curious whether you love this, whether you hate this. And I think it's okay to say, I love this, but I don't think it really captures Mesmer. It's okay to say, I think this captures Mesmer and I hate it. I think that's perfectly fine. Art is subjective, and I, I'm, I'm pumped about the design regardless. It, even if it looks like or doesn't look like Elden Ring's character, I think I went a different direction, and I'm glad that I did, because it allowed me to exercise those artistic joints a little bit more in seeing how close I could get to the original concept, or how far I could get from the original concept while still maintaining the same ideas, values, and just inspiration. But let me know what you think. Did I stray too far? Did I fly too close to the sun with this idea? Or is it like, wow, I like when you're able to bring in those, <laughs> I keep saying the same words, those ideas and apply them to something with a vastly different shape. Regardless, I think that the name Basilance is really, really cool. I made this a fire poison type to accommodate for the fire powers that uh, Mesmer has, as well as poison to take into account the snakes that I really made more prominent. The name Basilance is a mix of the terms Basilisk, which is a giant snake-like creature, and Lance, which is a spear. I picture this Pokemon able to spin around very rapidly and strike out with these snake-like appendages, as well as maybe turn them into like sharpened points, almost like they pull back into the body and come out as the tails, but they're like sharp. I think that's a really cool way of capturing the spear elements. It's a very transformative design and I dig that. I think it's something that's fun and I think it's a cool concept. Metagross does something similar and I love Metagross. So let me know what you think. You can find me in the comments down below and you can find me in the description. All of my links are gonna be there, including our Discord, which I did a lot more for my streaming stuff, but I'm gonna be translating over to the YouTube stuff as well. So find me there. I'm gonna be doing some contests and things and uh, it sounds like you know where to find me. So, bye.